Wow, it's the first time I've seen Game Over. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, I'm <Get> coming. <laughs> I'm coming for you. You, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Even your mama doesn't like you. Yeah, take your time. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. Oh. Ho, ho. Mom, that <laughs> this is the coolest <laughs> shit you can have in this game. This is the best save that you can have on a tombstone. Oh my god, wow. what do you have here? You are in hell. Okay, murder. Sounds good. We are 9 hours and 34 minutes into the game. Okay, let's see. Daddy, please, don't! Man, that's so messed up. I remember this one. Take a med kit. Okay. I think you're good. Okay, shoot once, then run. Yeah, shoot one and run to the other side of the wall. Maybe one more. Oh. Run, 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 run. Okay. trying to order you so what do you want then oh I see you're trying to be nice to me right I know what you're up to it's always the same you're only after one thing no that's not true at all you don't have to lie go ahead and say it or you could just force me beat me up like he always did you only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I can't stand this room. It's so messed up. I think it's 
pretty obvious what was happening. And now we know why the knife was red, the knife that we get from uh, the beginning. From Angela. Yeah, Angela actually killed his wife with it, uh, his uh, father, so. Uh, I don't know where I am. You are in hell. In Angela's hell right now. You can't turn the handle unless you first remove the handcuffs. Well. Maybe have some kind of key or something. I don't no, think maybe so. I should have got some. I, I don't think know. you are uh, you are low on health. You should also kill uh, take care. <clears throat> okay. Let's Unless see. you want that uh, ending with uh, James going crazy. I guess I already have that ending. <laughs> I get a feeling. Uh, oh. Okay. You still have uh, some rooms to check. Oh, yeah, this is a very interesting puzzle. I like this one. His face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of thievery. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of swindling. Justice and revenge have been served. Let's see these guys. This man was hung for the crime of counterfeit. Justice and revenge. Okay. This man was hung for the crime of arson. Murder. Okay, murder. Sounds good. And? All, all the good stuff. And what now? I think you should uh, choose which one to, to hang. How? I think not from here. It's uh, from another room. Okay. I guess I should hang the murderous one. I'm not sure. We need to, to gather more information about the puzzle. I think it's not uh, up to you to judge which one should be hanged, but uh, it's... Uh... Okay, I'm back here. Okay, I think it, we don't have anything more to do here. Uh, okay, where am I? Okay, so here are the hangmans. Okay. Let's see. Other rooms. Here. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so this is uh, from where you choose. Okay, so... Maybe you can read what it's on the wall. Dead man, dead man. Swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan when sell him to his hungry guests and gave them seconds on requests. Uh, okay, the first one should be the murderer. Uh, yeah. Can you write this down? Because there are six of them and we'll forget, I guess. Uh, the next one with his smile and sweets, stole poor children of the streets to men who dressed unsavory. He sold them into slavery. Uh, which one was this one? Not sure. But I what he did, uh, sold the uh, child to slavery. Uh, stole poor children of the street yeah okay okay so he kidnapped kidnapped sold okay so he can be a thief but not sure Maybe. let's see next one uh breaking into a home at night the thief this one is the thief. So this one is the thief the third he, one he had a nasty fright Filled his foolish head with tail, walk in the morn in the country jail. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills, but cut. Okay, this ready. is the forgery one. Okay, yeah, it was undone when the ink he'd used did start to run. This was the fourth one, you yeah? know. Yeah, the fourth one is the forgery, the one that. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into the night. Into night. It, the taking gold. I don't know about this sure. one, the fifth one. Three houses into ashes, burn the sheriff so this is with the no place to turn. Answer. Yeah. And uh, the other one is the fifth one. Did spy a stranger to his town, lock him up, and beat him down. Uh, how many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men white. Okay, uh, so one is missing. Oh, no. Which one? It's here. How, how many ropes do we have? Six. Six ropes? This is the murderer. Let's see if I can... There is a rope hanging from the ceiling. Will you pull it? Yes. Because I remember this one is the murderer. We need to go back and uh, write down where the f the others are. No. We did the murder, but we don't know uh, which one represents, which rope represents the other one. So we need to go back to the... I'm, no? I'm not sure this is the puzzle. I, I mean, so, why? One, two, three. Six. There are six. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are six. Okay. Let's go back and uh, write down uh, the position of each one. Now, because the only one that I uh, remember okay. where it was is the murder. So, understood. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I guess here, no? Uh, Let's see. Okay, so this one. The man was hung murder. for crime of murder. Okay. The uh, six is murder. Uh, murder. Six, if okay. you counts from. Uh, okay, then you want to count like this: one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So Clockwise. let's go to the first one. Then, first one should be this one, but. 
Crime of Swindling. What does this mean? I think this is the fifth one. Okay. This I'm man, not... uh, Tivoli, which was nice one. The second one was T40. Uh, uh, the Tiff one was the uh, the third one. Uh, okay, so can you make a connection between them? Uh, yeah, I sure. mean, uh, okay, so the first position was the Swiddling, and this is the Tiff, second position, and this is Kidnapper on third position. Okay. And the kidnapper on the other room was uh, second, I guess. No, the sold the the kid. Yeah, the second. Okay, so this one will be the next one, and the fourth here is uh, the counterfeiting. Okay, so four is the forgery one, and uh, this is the arson with the. Uh, the fifth one is the uh, okay. with the fire. Okay. Okay, so we not uh, write them down. Oh my God! Wow. What do you have here? Oh God! They are even tougher now. Oh my god. Uh... So see how it was the, the game. So they, they, uh, they appeared after you came the second time here to yep. check. You didn't solve the puzzle yet. <laughs> yep. Interesting. That uh, we only uh, got there after uh, you've been to the puzzle room. Can you read okay. again the that uh, story? Because I have some concerns. So this one is the butcher. It's okay. The first one. Okay. No? Yep. Stall poor children of the streets. Okay. This is clear, no? Yes, clear. This is the thief, it's clear. Clear. This is the artist. The forgery. Yeah. Taking gold he did not earn. So this one should be the swilling. Uh, okay. And this is the arson. That's, uh, okay. What was on the last slide? Okay, sorry. Dead man, dead man, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide. Around their necks, the nose be tied. Round. Okay, so it doesn't say anything. Okay, I remember that this one was the next one. And now you need to help me. The third one. Okay, the third one is the thief, and the thief is the second one in the other room. Here, no? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The fourth now, one. The fourth one is the forgery, and is the fourth on the other room as well. Oh, not here. This one. This uh, camera angle is pretty cool. Seems that James is almost hanging himself. Okay. The fifth one. The fifth one was uh, 
the one that was taking the gold, so it's the first one. Okay, the sixth one is the one fifth with one. the fire, so it's the fifth one. Only one left. And let's see. Uh, let's go back, no? Yeah. I have some concerns about uh, the way that we solve this puzzle. Could be. I, rem I remember that was something else, but I don't get it. Okay, we got something here. You have a note? I got the key. Okay, so it's, it's correct. The key of the persecuted. Okay. Something else there? The paper that was covering the corpse face is lying here. Okay, so... Uh, where we need to... Ah, yeah. So is the key that's from the exit. Oh, the key to the handcuffs, no? I think so. Let's check. Okay. Ah, no. This is where we started. Okay. It seems that it's the other way around. Ah, sorry. It's confusing. <laughs> I found a newspaper. <laughs> By mistake. <laughs> and what it, does he say? It's stained with something that looks like blood and is partially illegible. Let's look. The blood of a man later, later identified as Thomas or Lumberjack, age 39, was discovered in the Silent Hill, <laughs> lying face down or something. The probable cause of death has multiple stabs wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of the torso by a sharp-edged weapon. The estimated Time of death was somewhere between 11 p.m. and 12.30 midnight. Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Oro had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police... Uh, Suspect that was not a robbery of crime. Something. Mr. Mr. Oro, you know, uh, Angela's full name is Orozco. So Mr. Oro is his father that was actually killed by Angela. So this is a confirmation that she actually killed her father. And this newspaper uh, wasn't there. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Before, I mean, the first time we've been there. Okay. Guess we should progress further now. I we have the key. Okay. Ok, 
Okay. And we go down. Can you believe it? No surprise there. It seems that your camera is doing some weird stuff. Oh, whoa. It's the Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> yep, much better. The Silent Hill spirit uh, got into it. <laughs> Again, if you remember last time, he last got time me. We were in deep shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I completely disappeared. <laughs> well, at least now. Okay. Now you are just haunted by the city. Another room. Maria? Maria? Maria, no! What happened to you? Why? Why? Very deep in the story. And it's interesting how the melody keeps keeps going. Um, the same uh, effect uh, they are using uh, when you first lose Mari yeah. uh, in the hospital. <laughs> Not the same uh, track, but. Uh, Yeah, it gives you a nostalgic feeling, a sad feeling. Wow. Why not in a graveyard? And the final save, <laughs> you could say. This, yeah, the, this is the best save that you can have on a tombstone. Catacomb. Yeah, I think it's interesting to read the, what is written on the tombstones. The name on the tombstone is too scratched, to scratched up to read. Let's check this one. An epitaph is inscribed here. This pharaoh drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. Okay. Maybe they are uh, the sixth one that we executed. Hang. Maybe. The name of the on the stone stone is to scratch up. This one. <clears throat> oh, oh. Miriam K. Traitor. Okay. Uh, and we have some sh bullets here. Shotgun shells, like in every other graveyard. Walter... Mm, Walter Sullivan. Walter Sullivan. This one is from the Silent Hill 4. That's nuts. Okay. Try with the one from the right. James Sunderland. 
Guess what? Angela Orozco. Eddie Dombrovski. So this is the end for uh, for these three guys here. The uh, the awesome part is that uh, the last one is you, is James himself. <clears throat> so <clears throat> we go with our graveyard, I guess. No, our grave. Yeah. How how sweet for. Everyone has uh, his place, I guess. Yeah. Wow. I think that uh, um, graveyard uh, part is uh, one uh, a really nice way to to end this area. It's like uh, it's like. Uh, I, I don't know how, how to say it, but I, I really like how they made it. The last hole that you jump through, I think it's the the fifth hole, it's your own grave. Whoa. And it's starting to have blood on the walls. Eddie. Eddie? What are you doing? What does it look like? You always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. <laughs> Whoa! I think you should heal. Uh, too late. <laughs> yep. Our yeah, little, first death. A little too late. Yep. Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing game over. <laughs> Okay, let's. Uh, that was un unexpected. I think you should. You can use the rifle if you like, or the big sword. Okay. Um, yeah, the big sword should be nice. Uh, I guess I need to go again and uh, find the bullets. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if I've saved before or after. I think you have enough. Oh, okay. We still have. Hmm, that's useful. <laughs> this time around was a different uh, song, right? Uh, I don't know.
Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, I'm Get coming. <laughs> I'm coming for you. You, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> Even your mama doesn't like you. Okay, so... Uh, the first grave was for... Uh, um, Angela, that she killed her uh, father. The second grave was for Eddie, that killed his uh, bully. And the third one is for you, my friend. But you... You jump already. Yeah, take your time. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It, it seems that uh, James is uh, descending into madness. Uh, madness uh. <laughs> James? Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James! Uh, okay. Status. I'm okay? Yep. You're good. You're good to go. Man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was it, man. <laughs> Go after him. Rifle shells. I'm not sure this was the intended way. I think uh, the rifle was the better choice, but the great sword uh, did uh, her job. Seems like uh, we still have something there. But I cannot get... No, no, it's the head. From what I know, the fight continues in the other room, so we should be ready. Let's see, we are good? We are good. <clears throat> Then he came after me. I 
shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party! Okay. Let's check, let's check. I'm still good. You're still good. I think you can take uh, three or four shots. Mom! That this is the coolest shit you can have in this game. <laughs> and that's how you kill Eddie. Eddie? With two shots. I... I killed a... a human being. But in a cool way. <laughs> a human being. A fat one. It's not... Uh, you killed the killer. And the dog killer. As a fun fact, uh, you can. Did you really die three years ago? Uh, yeah, you can continue. Fun, a fun fact is that uh, you have the special ending, the dog ending, that is the joke ending. The dog uh, barks at uh, Eddie, and that's the reason why. Because Eddie killed uh, that dog. And in the dog ending, the dog bark barks at Eddie. It's, uh, it's cool. And to get the joke endings, you really need to finish uh, with all of the normal endings before and af after that you need to do some tricks to to get them and that was the historical society oh so glad we are done with it <laughs> what do you think about it? That was the fa favorite area of mine. Uh, for me too, until now. Really, really well made, this area. And uh, I liked everything. The puzzles, the pacing, the, the way we descended. <laughs> This is it for uh, tonight's session. We recorded uh, a pretty good amount <laughs> and uh, we finished uh, an important area of the game and we found out a lot of uh, uh, interesting things. I, I mean, uh, it's the first uh, time we really find out something, <laughs> some things. What are your thoughts after this? Uh, session and uh, this area i mean of the game yeah i i like it uh, as as much as i did on uh, my first playthrough of the game so it's still my favorite uh, area of the game and i'm so glad that we played it together the developers are de developing some horror games they have a lot of inspiration to to get from that uh, area and how they build it up because most of the time nothing was happening, but we were uh, terrified, and that's so so good, so nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah, it was uh, really nice having you again, Christy, with me, yeah. helping me <laughs> with this uh, one. And uh, as you said, we are past probably sixty percent or something like that, at least. 
from the game. Yeah, uh, I don't remember really well, but I think the next area should be the hotel, and I think it's the last one. Not sure though, but it, it can be. Yeah, it's understandable there are uh, 15 or 20 years since you played the game, um, but uh, it's clear that uh, it uh, leave a mark on you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's starting uh, to do the same for me in a different way. I mean, it's a different experience doing this uh, with you. Um, okay, so we'll uh, arrange uh, another meeting. Let's hope that uh, the le- next one will be in person. We wanted to do it uh, for this uh, time, but uh, it was impossible. But next time, maybe uh, we'll be able to see each other in person. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to to do when you have a little child. Um, okay, guys, um, this is it for tonight, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye, guys.